Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest V, Episode 7. When we last left off, we had gotten back to Herald of the Spring, and now we need to head back to the main fairy village. That is, if we can survive our way back. So, I'm nervous, because we are pretty low health this time. Uh, oh, Might have gotten a walk back free card right there. Jeez, I'm crow. Run! Just run. There's no way. There's no way. Not with basically everybody being out magic. Just gotta get out of here for now. Will we come back? Maybe. Maybe not. It's hard to say. Doing okay health-wise. Not amazing, but probably gonna pull through. Small stuff like this will take on the challenge. Yeah! They're so beneath us now, we're just so strong and capable. Right... Come on. We burned through pretty much every resource we had, so that's why I'm nervous. But again, small things like this, I think we can handle. Particularly that Rom is now, like, so ripped. Right. Back to our treehouse. Well, their treehouse, I guess. Right. Welcome back as champions. Oh, let's see. Well, no. We'll do that later. If you go to sleep there, you'll wake up back at the house, and then we'll have to jump back in and blah blah blah. So, we'll just keep going for now. Wrap up this event. Got treacle inside, waiting for us. I can figure out where the stairwell is. So that was our time with Honey as our third party member. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head whether we get to battle with her again or not. Sprightly Saints, the Herald of the Spring. Come, Rom. Let me take a good look at your face. It's like the peace sign. What's up? Selfie. We couldn't have asked for more from anyone, Rom. At last, I can fulfill the duty of the fairies to call an end to this long, harsh winter and summon spring into the world. I really don't know how we can thank you, except perhaps to promise you this. If you ever find yourself in trouble, when you are a little older, I mean, come to our land again. We will do whatever we can to repay you for your bravery. So remember us, Ron. And now it's time for you to return, turn you to the world where you belong. Ron, I'll never forget you. Here, have this so you'll never forget me either. Ron received a branch. Tehehe! <laughs> Were you expecting something better? Don't worry, it's only withered because of the cold. When spring comes, it'll be bursting with hundreds and hundreds of pretty little flowers. Goodbye, Rom. Take care. Treacle puts the Herald of the Spring gently to her lips. Another thing this game does that's like really good is that it lets moments breathe a little. Which for people who like to rush through cutscenes, this would be brutal for you. But for like people that play games for the stories and things, like this is like as good as it gets. Spring returns to the land of the fairies. 
which indirectly brings spring back to our world. If they're not the same world. Let that sit. <laughs> and we're back. Goodbye. Up the one single petal. Right, we're back. Saber's still rolling with us, but we've lost honey. Hey friend, where you been? A messenger came from Coburg Castle when you were away. Your papi, he is already on his way there. He wanted to take you with him, but he could find you no find at you anywhere. But he only have a leave a few minutes ago. If you hurry, maybe you catch up with him. Go now, Rapido. Hey friend, wait, something fell out of your pocket. It's a beautiful blossom. It's a little warmer. All the pretty flowers are going to be bursting into life. I put it into your room, okay? Yes. Put it up in our room. There it is. Let's see if he says anything unique about it. Oh, nope. Same text as before. We'll catch up. Rom searches round in front of him. There's a blooming branch there. Oh, we took it back already. Right, next stop is going to be the armor store. Actually, maybe I'll upgrade in Coburg. So there's one last thing I want to visit in this town for now. And it's a cool little shout out. Originally, an episode or two ago, this guy was complaining about his guest book being messed with. And there might be something else. Oh no, not again. Someone's gone and written something strange here in my guest book. Now what's this all about? Thank you so much, Rom. Can't wait to meet again one day. Sweet wishes, honey. What a load of nonsense. So it's kind of like a nice little extra little goodbye. It's extremely dangerous outside the village. So dad is somewhere. So I should clarify that I have played this before, but I'm going to be doing a more thorough playthrough. Kind of buzzed through it my first time through. So a lot of it's going to be familiar, and a lot of it's going to be foreign. So it'll be interesting to see what balance of what I actually got through my first time. There you are, Rom. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Never mind, it doesn't matter now. I was just saying a prayer before setting off again. You should do the same. I'll be waiting for you at the town entrance. So, um, nobody's dead. Nobody's hurt. Nobody's poisoned. Um, we don't really save like that, so we're just gonna keep going. It's a beautiful town, but it's time to move on. All done, Rom? Good, then we'll get going. I've been summoned to Coburg Castle. Don't worry, it's not too far. Nothing like the long sea voyage I took you on before. And once this little trip is over with, I think we'll settle down for a while. Put you through enough. It's time you had a bit of fun, don't you think? Right then, let's be off. Have a good trip, Pancras. He's like the most excitable guard ever. Yeah, Pancras! Cutting around the mountains. I am Pancras Gotha of Wheelbrook. I've been summoned by King James, and I'm on my way to Coburg Castle at his request. Please allow me to pass. Ah, so you're Pancras, are you? I had word that you'd be coming. Please pass it on. And on through.
So this is like a cool underwater passageway. It, they thought we could make a bridge or we could make an elaborate underground thing. And they went very elaborate. We'll be in the kingdom of Coburg before long, Rom. People say the view of the river from up top is quite something. Come on, we don't have much time, but it'll be fun to go ahead and have a look. Here we are, let's see. Hope you don't mind my asking, but are you alright there, old man? Oh yes, don't mind me. I'm just watching the river go by and thinking about what the future holds for our kingdom. I see. Well, be careful to not catch a cold standing up here too long. Do excuse us. Right, so we're going backwards. We must hurry, we're supposed to be in Coburg by now. Run! You're the one that's leading us. So we'll probably do some more things at that bridge in the future. Again, I think it's so cool that they made it underwater. This like adds to the charm of the game, that you have elements like that in there. And welcome to Coburg, everybody! It's beautiful. It's our main kingdom, first main kingdom that we come to. Halt! What business do you have in Coburg Castle? My name is Pancraz. I was summoned from Wheelbook by the King. Ah, uh, my apologies, good sir. The King is expecting you. Please follow me. Right, still got our saber cat with us. Got Pancras on board. Sort of the legendary hero Pancras. Going up. Right, here's the throne room. Your Majesty, Pancras of Wheelbrook requests an audience. Thank you, I will see him. You may leave. At once, Your Majesty. They're the guards with the very deep voices. Walks off very slowly. Well, Pancras, your reputation precedes you. Heard much about your bravery. As such, I have summoned you here to ask you a favor. I, ahem, please approach the throne. Guards dismissed. Yeah, get out of here. It's private business. It'll be incredibly dull for you just standing there, Rom. I'm sure His Majesty wouldn't mind if he looked around the castle. It's a fine opportunity for you. We'll finish our discussion by the time you get back. Right, so this is our chance to go explore over Coburg a little bit. So... This is the main top of the castle wall. Kind of wheedle around and see what's going on. Got this character. Arug, I've heard about as much of Prince Harry's mischief as I can take. The goddess only knows what kind of king that little rascal will make. The worry keeps me awake at night. So, spoiled brat little prince. A Dragon Quest staple been playing through Dragon Quest 8 and there's also a spoiled brat little prince. So there's always some spoiled prince. Actually depending on how you think about it, um, there's like multiple spoiled brat little princes in Dragon Quest 8. Who are you? Ah, uh, I know, I know. You're the son of Pancras, the man my father ordered to come here from Wheelbrook. I'm the Prince of Coburg, next in line to the throne. I expect you want to serve me by being my lackey, do you? Sure. Ha, what sort of prince would run a puny little boy like you as a lackey? Get out of my sight. Honestly, that's just rude. Spoiler brat. 
just a dude hanging out with a saber cat. Leave me alone. Who are you? You'd like to make friends with a real prince, would you? Ha <laughs> ha. Well, you certainly have a shrewd eye for one so young. That's right, my Wilbur would be a far more suitable successor to the throne than that naughty half-brother of his. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it? You're very shrewd. Very shrewd indeed, my boy. So this is the charming Wilbur. I don't want to be king. Thanks, Wilbur. <laughs> right, so... Before we get too wrapped up in the next series of events, will let us leave the castle. What happened to your father, lad? You can't just go wandering off out of the castle on your own. Alright, so... Do some item management stuff later. Probably try to do most of it off screen, but if there's something particularly of interest, I'll show it. Wondering who the next king will be, are you? Prince Harry or Prince Wilbur? Well, unless something happens to stop it, it'll be Prince Harry. He's the eldest son. Don't like all this talk about who's going to succeed the throne. His Majesty the King is still in excellent health. There are far more pressing concerns, like these rumors about children being kidnapped all over the place. Hmm? You should be careful, lad. Don't go wandering off without your father, all right? What should I do? Her Majesty, the Queen Consort, has been meeting with some unsavory characters recently. I feel compelled to inform His Majesty the King, but perhaps I shouldn't be meddling in Her Majesty's affairs. It's like the perfect example of if you see something weird, say something. What's up this way? Nothing for us. So that's the basic layout of the castle. Extends a little bit more over this way. Got some rooms, anything cool in here? Hey! A seed of magic. We've got our priest and our nun. I don't know if she'd be pro like a proper nun or not. She might just be like a woman of the church. That I'm not entirely sure about. Ah, uh, Pancras's boy. Yes, you've a keen eye, lad, I can see that. Well, I've entrusted your father with looking after my eldest son, Prince Harry. I want you to make friends with him, too. It'll do him good to have someone to play with. Right, so... There's Dad. Ah, there you are, Rom. The king asked me to look after his son, Harry. Prince Harry, I'd feel much happier if I could keep a closer eye on him, but he doesn't seem too fond of me. Why don't you try to make friends with him, Rom? You're about the same age, I'm sure you'll, you'll get it on. I'll stay out here so I can be sure he doesn't go anywhere while you go in and play with him, okay? That's my boy. Oh no, not you again? I suppose you've come back because you want to be my lackey, have you? I sure do. Well, you're probably not up to it, but I'm prepared to give you a chance. There's a chest in the room next door with a lackey's badge in it. Go, go and get it. You must have a badge if you want to be my lackey, otherwise I won't let you. So smart. What do we got? Now he's gone. So, there's a chair and searches underneath. There's a secret staircase leading down. So we're headed down. How dare you discover my secret staircase? Hmm. I didn't like you the moment I had the misfortune of laying eyes on you. But, I bet I didn't find the lackey's badge, did you? Well, you can't be my lackey then, so there. Hmm, what's that? Uh oh, they floored us. You Prince Ari? No, I'm Prince Harry. With an itch. You imbecile, who are you, you filthy louts? Jesus. 
filthy watts. Sorry, mate, but you're coming with us. Herg. Boy, step on it. Get him on the raft. Come on, Gov. Uh-oh. Right. So, despite being a spoiled brat, it is now our job to save him. Probably with Pankras in tow. So, that's the courtyard. We have to go find Pankras, so I guess we'll make our way back into the castle. Use the cook's thing, break these barrels. We'll find Harry when we find him. Wonder if it'll let us cut through there. More barrels, come on. Give us something cool. Back to Pancras. Since Harry had to hide. What on earth's the matter, Rom? What? Prince Harry's been kidnapped. Dear Goddess. Now listen to me, Rom. No one must know of this. It'd be a disaster if people were to find out. We'll have to rescue the prince before he's missed. Come on, follow me now. So now that's his stool's been replaced with a stairwell. Chase Pankras down. Run. I'm coming, Dad. So before we head off the world map, we'll stop here and pick up some stuff. What can we get? Chain whip. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's do that. Who's going to carry the goods? So it gets our attack up to 70, and it attacks multiple targets. Which would be huge. Chain whip. So I think we'll try to sell something. So we can get Saber his next boost. What do we have here? Um, not a whole lot. Bronze Knife gets us a little bit. I just have to sell a bunch of little bits to get to a total amount we need. Um, leather hat doesn't get us much. Might just not have the money to get the full one yet. We have three of those. Three handwoven capes, 75. Getting closer. And sell Ron's original weapon. Bamboo spear. Right. We have a boomerang we can sell too. That I wasn't gonna use. Right, so that'll get us, should get us with plenty of money to spare. Anything else? So now we'll buy the, let's see, is it stone fangs? That gets his attack to 57. Can you use any of this other stuff? Stone fangs. So 57 or iron claw it gets him to 60. Again, not want to love Saber way more than I love him, but he's just not the strongest. Again, maybe if you keep up with the weapons and kind of grind him up, he can get pretty viable, but off the cuff, don't love it. Burned through all our heals, so we'll grab some medical, medicinal herbs. Medical, yeah, medicinal herbs. Speed, speed through this. 
So our MP is back up, so we'll be able to heal quite a bit to you, but why risk it? Yes. Let's get a couple more. For our guy, Saber. We're getting close to the point where we'll be able to draft monsters. And that's, again, one of my favorite elements of this game, so I'm excited to introduce that. Saber, you got this. He's a happy little cat. Can we uh, draft this dog? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Nope. Right, so let's see where Dad went. Should be out here somewhere. Uh oh. Well, I guess we're gonna get to try out our whip. Heal slimes. Good job. Might be doing okay as far as the grind goes. upgraded weapons. Jeez, I'm crow. Hope I didn't blow too too much money too early. I think we'll probably be okay, but... Explore a little more of the world map out here as we hunt for the horrible prince. But maybe we just don't know him well enough. He could turn into good people. Where are you, Prince? Oh, ultimate test of the whip. Fandangao and Scarborough. So this monster, the Terracotta Warrior, looks like... Um, sorry. Brain fog. Uh, what's its name? Looks like one of our Digimon friends. The... Ah, oh, I can't remember it. The DNA Digivolve between... Um, TK and Cody. Sakuamon. It's a cool design. It's obviously based on like a terracotta pot. It's also way stronger than we are yet. Uh oh. Right. We'll heal ourselves. And we'll have him use a medicinal herb. But it's my word. <laughs> Relax, just stop. Alright, we're gonna have to. 
Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll moosh it. And I'll have him heal again. Right? We're getting there. Boy, man, they do a lot of damage. No, Saber! Right... Right, at least he's able to heal himself. Buff. Lord. Whew, that was lucky. Right, take him out. Yes! That was some nice experience, but we lost a lot too. So, let's see. Bring Saber back up. That was quite the match. I've never been in such fear before. This is the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. This is anywhere near... Okay. Back to things we can handle. There we go. That's what a competent fight looks like. Oi. Just put it down. Somebody leveled up. Probably Saber. Yep. He's getting some good health. We're getting nice boosts. Honestly. This one at all. Come on. Oh, Slime Knights. I think this is my first time seeing Slime Knights. Oy. Just run away. No! Saber! Train magic, don't do that. Oi. Locks the way. Oof. Andrew will wake up. Good. Great goddess. May you watch over and protect this poor child. Alright, so how about we pause for there? Uh, it looks like we'll obviously need to grind up a little bit more before we're comfortable going on to the next section of the game. So, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I will talk to you soon. Alright, bye!